What you see behind me is a 30-foot tolly craft, and the reason why we chose this boat, uh, it's a vintage uh, boat in the uh, late 60s. It's solid fiberglass. They didn't use any wood in the hull. So the construction of this is about a one and a half inch thick fiberglass. The colors are uh, retro, that teal color. It's uh, fashioned from uh, the late 60s. I think it's coming back into style because the new Benetos, that they call the Monte Carlo 5 and stuff, have got this color on the hull as well. So we think it's going to take a, uh, a people that will uh, like that color again. But it's a solid big hull. It's designed by, uh, I believe, uh, the hull design is a uh, monk. You might have to edit. <laughs> uh, but it's a uh, solid, a uh, seaworthy uh, V, shallow V. And it's got twin propellers that stick out of shafts on the uh, back of the boat with rudders behind them. Underneath, if you can get a shot of that. So uh, that's what we're going to power with our electric motors, is these propellers. We're going to keep all the same running gear. Um, if we can get a larger propeller, we may. But it looks like uh, we're going to just attach our motor directly to this, to, uh, for this first prototype. Um, the rudders are quite small, so there's not a lot of drag in the water. The boat floats quite well, and it planes really, really well. Uh, with a few horsepower, so we think we might be able to get it up planing as well. That could be an edit too. <laughs> um, we'll talk about now the uh, the uh, superstructure. So uh, the top side, say, uh, aside from the fantastic hull and a great place to put in our battery banks and our electric motors, we've got the superstructure, which has got a uh, V berth in the front. It's got a nice uh, table settee that folds down into a bed and a settee across on the other side that is another single berth, a galley at the back and a head in the back behind this uh, colored glass here. Up in the uh, cockpit, it's this huge roomy cockpit designed for uh, fishing and it will have a navigation control there as well as the flybridge on the very top where you'll probably want to spend most of your time driving the ship. Um, up there we'll have all the controls as well as in the uh, navigation station. So it should, uh, we're not gonna do a lot to the interior until after we've got the boat uh, uh, running, so that'll be a year two project. Year one, it's a exterior and electric motors. All right, let me climb aboard and show you what it's like inside this gorgeous vessel. We climb over the stern, look down over there, there's a nice swim grid about two feet wide with a ladder onto it so we can go swimming and get back onto the boat. Nice and convenient. We'll put a nice ladder down into the ocean with three steps on it so you can get out of the water. As I mentioned, the, uh, the size of this cockpit. So I can stand uh, up at the helm station over here and uh, it's about a seven feet uh, to the back of the cockpit. Uh, this is fully covered inside here. We're gonna put a uh, tarp down the back edge so this will be an indoor-outdoor kind of station. Okay, come on downstairs, I'll show you the rest. Open up the door. Watch your head. Come on downstairs. I'm going to have a seat at this nice uh, settee. Um, you can see it's uh, there's plenty of room down here and lots of light. Windows go all the way around, but the first thing I notice on here that you might not notice on uh, the video is the smell of gas. Um, that smell is, uh, you know, yeah, I remember it. It's, it's that gasoline smell. I'm, uh, I can hardly wait till we get rid of that. That's going to be one of those odors that uh, I'm not going to miss at all. Uh, but the interior is uh, pretty good shape. All the uh, cushions are uh, not torn. They're the lovely teal color to match the exterior. Uh, the windows that go all the way around give lots of light. There's storage underneath all the uh, benches and compartments. Um, and as soon as you come in to the left, there's a galley. And to the starboard, there's a head. And in the head, there's a shower and toilet. Fridge and stove and a sink in the galley. And we'll have all of that up and running in no time. What do you think?
It's nice, isn't it? 